In a previous video, we introduced alkynes as one of the three types of hydrocarbons. You should recall that alkynes have a carbon-carbon triple bond. Alkynes have the general formula CnH2n-2, and like alkenes, they are unsaturated because they have fewer than the maximum number of hydrogens. Generally, very few alkynes occur in nature. When we look at the alkynes, the carbons of the triple bond are going to be sp hybrid carbons. The triple bond itself is going to be composed of one sigma bond and two pi bonds. As with the alkenes, the pi bonds are outside of the main axis between the two carbons. Therefore, the pi bonds are, tend to be very reactive. In terms of geometry around the sp hybrid carbons, we find that the carbons are linear. As with all hydrocarbons, alkynes tend to be nonpolar. As a result, they will be insoluble in water. In addition, the primary intermolecular force of nonpolar compounds are dispersion forces. Therefore, the boiling points of alkynes will be relatively low compared to other functional groups. However, as with other nonpolar compounds, as the number of carbons increases, the boiling points of the compounds will also increase. In addition, because alkynes are more linear than alkenes, alkynes will have stronger dispersion forces and therefore higher boiling points than alkenes of similar molar mass. When naming alkynes, we recall that the infix we change to yn instead of an for alkanes or en for alkenes. As with alkenes, we want the longest continuous chain to contain the carbon-carbon triple bond. And we also ensure that we number the chain so that the carbon-carbon triple bond receives the lowest possible number. While alkenes had geometric isomers possible, because the alkynes are linear, they do not have the possibility of cis-trans or EZ isomers. Therefore, naming alkynes is much simpler. We only have to ensure that the carbon, tri carbon triple bond is part of the main carbon chain and that it gets the lowest possible number.